start off, Kelton, you can yep. do the, <coughs> the, clacking. the clacking for us. Alright, Evan, take one. A lot, a lot of difference. First of all, less side effects. Um, the medication um, uh, back then was uh, um, a weight gaining uh, side effect. It was um, uh, a less concentration, a less motivating uh, side effect. Whereas in the medication now currently that I'm on, uh, or the medication that the general public is now on, the, the medication is upgraded, modified to new antipsychotics that have less of the, um, the previous side effects, the less of the weight, weight gain, the less, I feel more motivated, more energetic, more wanting to work, more wanting to go to school, um, more wanting to integrate with community, you know, and um, I feel that the, the, there's, the side effects have been minimised. Uh, from previous and and the sedation factor is also because it, before they used to put people into hospital for three months or thereabouts now they they can treat people in the community it's not it's not essential that they go into a hospital unless need be look the talking therapy uh, which is the psycho social kind of treatment, the talking therapy is just as valuable as the medication. Um, they, they work hand in hand, side by side. And I feel that uh, it, to some extent, the talking therapy has made me the person I am today. It's given me confidence to speak. It's given me confidence to validate. It's given me confidence to be outspoken about a view and, and uh, and, and, and be, be more open-minded to ideas and perceptions of other people and uh, to come to a compromising agreement collectively at a meeting environment. So th these kind of things, this, these counselling uh, roles should not be underestimated. They are to be seen most valuable. And, and I must admit that the strengths model of case management or care where you look at people's strengths, you try and draw out people's strengths by the dialogue, you try and find where their strengths are, where their skills are, and then you, um, you uh, try to uh, get them to develop them, to develop them even further, um, and to, uh, for them to acknowledge that they are their strengths, and that they, they have potential in that, to grow into that to grow into uh, uh, better people by using, utilising those strengths, uh, those faculties. Uh, but I must say that the deficit model where you have talking therapy and you try to sort out problems has its benefits, but I wouldn't, wouldn't put it to its, the primary uh, benefit of uh, therapy. The primary therapy is looking at people's strengths, empowering them to use their strengths, putting a care plan in place, giving them goals, giving them, reviewing those goals, uh, uh, you know, as you see the person, try and build relationships and trust with that person because that kind of trust and building will make information flow a lot easier with the client. It will also coordinate and collaborate a lot easier other services with that individual and it will help that individual to engage in other services out in the local community. So the talking therapy is, is valuable, most valuable and looking at, uh, upon the strengths model, uh, uh, the research that I've done on that and I've, I published a book called Gaining Strengths is currently used as a, a guiding tool in training uh, mental health staff in some regions in Victoria and Australia. And um, I, I, it, it, is, it is of benefit to look at people's strengths and, and encourage them to use them.